Oftentimes, as women, we are conditioned to be accommodating, passive and small, but when we act this way, we waste our full potential. And our next guest is gonna help us look and feel and act that way. She's the author of A Woman's Guide to Claiming Space. Please welcome Eliza Van Court. Hi, Eliza. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You know, we were doing our research on you, and you had such a tough childhood, traumatic ex episode that sort of set you on this path to motivational yeah. speaking. Can you tell us about that, what ignited this? Yeah, well, my mom was a wonderful mom until I was about four and a half. And then she became paranoid schizophrenic. Mm. And she ended up kidnapping me three times wow. and taking me across the country by truck, from truck stop to truck stop to truck stop, hitchhiking from New York to California one of the times. And what happened on that trip made me start to really conflate invisibility with safety. I felt like if I just could be small enough, I'd be safe. Mm. And eventually I started to realize that being invisible isn't safe, it's dangerous. And so I started to come into my power and I got really good at teaching other people to go into their power, but I wasn't really doing it myself. And then in 2013, somebody was blowing through a light and I was on my bike and I got hit in the head with a car. Wow. <laughs> and I got a bilateral brain injury and a subdural hematoma and I lost my ability to communicate well. So I had to build that up brick by brick. And the process of doing that made me really tune into the minutia of human behavior and I started realizing some people could just walk into a room and command the space. I mean, you do that and you do that. It's incredible. And other people, they do the same behaviors, but it's just not working well. And so I thought, what is going on here? And eventually I broke it down. And as I was recovering, I was learning about behavior and communication. And suddenly I thought, I get this. Mm. And so I started teaching it to people and it was working and people were being empowered. And so I decided I was gonna write a book about it because I wanted to share what I learned with the world. And you have mm -hmm. actually, A Woman's Guide to Planning Space. I read it last night and I mean, it's very dynamically written. There are, you know, drawings, it's broken up in really interesting chapter breaks. Um, and I learned about your daughter and her yeah. ability to take a compliment. Oh, she's um, great. What creating space, you know, means. Like, will you teach us how to claim your space? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to. Okay, so there are. Oh, go ahead. Oh, we're, we're getting up. We gotta no, get no, up. Like, we gotta we're get gonna up. actually do okay, this. We gotta do it. Okay. okay good, yeah. So the first thing that's really powerful is you don't move your head. If someone's trying to take your power, you can smile. You can not smile. You can look away. But you don't have to say anything, you just don't move your head, and it's terrifying. Actually, my parents actually caught me sneaking into the house once when I was younger. I didn't know why I was so scared. I realized they weren't moving their head now. I so, thought about this. Yeah, so if you don't move your head, it's a really good way to empower yourself, yeah. yeah so, I feel like I'm getting all so hungry, right. like this. And well, then, yeah, because yeah. usually we affirmation nod. Oh, and yeah. so if somebody's going after us, we sometimes, especially as women, will nod and be like, yeah, great, keep going. But actually, you wanna keep your head straight. The second thing is you don't wanna keep yourself small, your body. So you don't wanna do this. The difference between this and this is everything. So if I'm talking to you and I'm like, hi, Drew, totally different than if I'm doing this. It really claims space. And the last thing is, I really believe. <laughs> so fascinating. Yeah. I know. I'm very yeah. conscious of my yeah. body right now. I'm trying not to. <laughs> but so, it's true. I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. And then the last one is, I believe your name is your power. So when you meet someone, that first moment has such an impact. And a lot of people turn their name into a question. So I'd say to you, hi, I'm Eliza Van Court. And I'm saying it like this. And I feel like if your name is a question, everything is a question. Mm. So instead say, hi, I'm Eliza Van Court. And just let your name go down at the end. And that little thing tells people, I belong here. I deserve to be here. You and so those it? are just three things that can really help. Oh, let's I'm try so it. fascinated <laughs> let's do it. by this. And there are such impressive takeaways. Thank you. I love when people tell you how to overhaul your life but don't give you the tools. You yes. just gave us three specific <laughs> things to start with. And I also love that you you went through traumatic things and what you did is you sort of harnessed that and decided to give back to the world, bringing those lessons wherever you go and here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I read it last night. Get your copy of A Woman's Guide to Claiming Space. It's available now and our whole audience is going to go home with one. Yes. <laughs>
for their mentor. And I have one too. We'll be right back.